bones from Triceratops. All right, reset the display scope. Through trial and error, Zero force. Erickson adjusts the torque until he finds a precise match for the power of the real world bite. Actuator off and running. Fire away. Fire. Punch straight through it, Paul. Oh. Man, you wouldn't want to get bitten by that. How much force, Paul? About 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds. Averaging many trials, Erickson's final result was 3,400 pounds of bite force, matching today's crocodiles for the most powerful jaws ever on Earth. And that's just a start. Probably both sides of the dentition were engaged when this animal was biting, too. So it's probably twice that much, which would put Tyrannosaurus as having bite forces at approximately twice that of uh, a large alligator today. It doesn't mean the Tyrannosaur was biting at full force. I suspect that Tyrannosaurus could generate bite forces perhaps three, four, five.